Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm Arif, your Cloud Learning Journey Partner. In today's video, we're going to talk about AWS uh, Developer Access Certification. So I'll help you to create a roadmap for the certification. If you follow my uh, roadmap, I can guarantee that you're going to get certified within a month. So before starting the video, just want to talk about myself. Well, I do have more than eight years of experience in cloud computing, specifically AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. Besides that, uh, I have uh, vast experience in cybersecurity. I do have uh, CIS and CCSP certification. You can see my certifications the background related to the cloud and security. Uh, well, uh, in uh, today's video, I'm gonna create uh, the roadmap. I'm gonna uh, help you to understand the certification uh, process. And uh, if you follow my guidance, I guarantee that within a month, you will get certified. Well, this channel is all about uh, cloud computing, cybersecurity. So if you are interested in this field, this channel is definitely gonna help you to be a better IT professional. So. Um, Please like and subscribe to this channel because I'm planning to upload more and more videos in a very frequent manner. So without further delay, let's get started. So at the very beginning of this uh, video, we're gonna talk about AWS certification exam overview. So this is the AWS official website. So we gonna go through all the components that are mentioned in this uh, website. So first, let's talk about who should take this exam, especially the AWS Developer Associate exam. So if uh, you have experience working in a developer role with in-depth knowledge of at least one high-level programming language, then uh, it's definitely for you, then experience in AWS technologies. So when we're talking about AWS technologies, uh, most of the time we're referring to the technologies related to DevOps. So in AWS uh, console, you're gonna see a different section for DevOps. And uh, if you are well uh, aware of those specific services, then uh, uh, this certification is definitely for you. And also experience working in other cloud services. So it doesn't, so cloud computing is more of a like programming language. So for instance, you are uh, good at uh, Azure, but you haven't worked with AWS uh, uh, tools before, but you have a good understanding about Azure DevOps tools. In that case, if you want to sit for the exam, almost like 50 to 60% is already done for you because the concepts are pretty much the same, like C, C++, the programming language. If you learn one language, you can uh, easily learn the another language in a very short period of time because you just need to learn the syntax. The same thing goes uh, for the cloud computing uh, uh, providers. Cool, the next thing is that, let's look into the exam overview. So the level is associate and uh, the length of the exam is 130 minutes to complete the exam. So that means uh, almost like uh, two hours you have to complete the exam. The cost is 150 USD. That's what I like about AWS because uh, the certifications are not that uh, expensive. Uh, uh, so if you spend this $150 and you pass the certification, I can guarantee that this is one of your best investments so far. Because if you have the certification under your resume, you will definitely get a lot of calls from uh, your hiring managers, potential hiring managers. Okay, the exam format is uh, 65 questions, each multiple choice or multiple response. So most of the questions that you're gonna face in the exams are multiple choices. In some scenario, they want uh, you to choose the best answer. In some cases, you have to choose uh, two answer out of uh, four. So uh, one thing I want to add in here, whenever you are uh, sitting for this exam, you really need to understand all the very important AWS services because most of the questions in the exams are scenario basis. So they will uh, come up with a scenario in it, uh, from AWS uh, architecture and they will say like, now this is the situation and this is the problem, how we can uh, solve this problem. So if you are not aware of those services, you don't know how to integrate multiple AWS services altogether to come up with a solution, you will struggle in the exam. So my suggestion to you is that, first of all, make sure that you know all the important uh, services that are required for this developer exam very thoroughly. If you do that, if you use those services from AWS console, it's very highly that you're gonna pass your exam in your first attempt. And the delivery method of the exam is uh, uh, Pearson uh, Testing Center or online proctored exam. So you can go to the test center or you can uh, uh, sit for the exam uh, from your home. Uh, I prefer the second option, uh, even though when you are taking the exam from home, uh, an online proctor will monitor your, you from the webcam. Uh, the good part about the online exam is that uh, it's your uh, familiar environment, so you feel much more confident in that case. 
and also just uh, one thing to make sure that when you are choosing the the online portal exam make sure you have a very stable internet connection because if the connection is lost then uh, uh, your exam will be uh, revoked so for that reason uh, please make sure that you have a stable connection if you go for the second option now we're gonna go through these uh, two things the first one is uh, the exam guide so i have already opened in a new tab here so here you will have a basic understanding then the target candidate description and also what specific serv uh, services you need to cover so the exam content please make sure to go through this so the exam has uh, in total four domain the domain one is development with aws services that's 32 percent the second domain is security 26 percent third is deployment which is 24 percent and the last one is troubleshooting and optimization which is 18 percent in total 100 percent so for each and every single domain uh, what sort of knowledge you require the skills required the services you need to know all are break down very well in this uh, guideline so before you even you start your preparation i highly suggest you to please go through this uh, uh, 11 pages of uh, document it will help you to uh, understand what exactly you should learn for your certification exam so here the cool part is that for even services they have mentioned for each and every section what specific services you need to know to pass the AWS developer associate certification that's great so that's the first document and the second document is uh, download the sample questions so uh, the, here you will see uh, almost 10 sample questions and the answers below so uh, a good question could be when should you use this material well uh, I would highly recommend you to wait because uh, first, uh, once you go through this uh, document, then uh, I'll suggest some uh, material that need to be covered. Please go through those materials first. Once uh, you feel confident that, uh, yes, uh, you have covered all of the services and the materials, and now you're ready to test your knowledge. After having the sort of confidence, then you can uh, come to this page. There, uh, here you can answer all the questions and see uh, out of 10 questions, how many questions you can answer correctly because these questions are pretty much uh, the same sort of question that you're going to face in the real exam so out of 10 if you score less than 8 my recommendation should be please go through all the other services once more because uh, from uh, my understanding the passing mark is uh, 70 percent so uh, to be in a safe side if you don't get eight questions right out of 10 that means you need more preparation so uh, please uh, um, refer to this document after completing all of your preparation so that you can test your own knowledge so great now you do have a better understanding of the exam so the next question could be what resources need to cover for this uh, certification aws uh, developer Access certification right so the first uh, material i suggest you to cover is uh, these videos so so far in my channel i have uploaded uh, 35 videos uh, if you notice carefully for every uh, almost all the important services i have created uh, small videos almost like 15 uh, 15 to 14 minutes of videos so uh, my suggestion to you that at the very beginning please go through all of these videos because it will help you to create the base even though these videos are, uh, seems short but uh, trust me this video contains a lot of information so uh, first at the very beginning cover all of these videos from this channel so it will help you to understand all the important services how to configure those services and you will develop a very good uh, foundation about AWS services. You will know what uh, the core AWS services are, how to configure that, how to troubleshoot some issues. Uh, so it will really help you to pass the certification. That's the first uh, thing that you need to cover for your certification. The second study material that I want you to cover for the certification is this one named as AWS Certified Developer Official Study Guide. You can find it from uh, Amazon. So uh, this is the official uh, study guide. So if you cover this one, that means you are covering the official material. So uh, the good part about this one is that all the AWS services are written very briefly and uh, you can understand it because the language that is used in here is very plain English. So that's good. So here you can see some uh, 
uh, overview of this and it uh, it got uh, two version one is kindle edition one is paperback so it depends uh, on your preference uh, i'll prefer to uh, to have a digital copy so that's why i prefer the kindle edition but you are more uh, comfortable with paperback you can uh, go for this uh, other option so once you uh, co covered this material then uh, the i i can guarantee you that almost uh, 60 to 65 percent of your preparation is done if you first cover my videos and secondly cover this uh, official study guide the third thing that i want you to cover is uh, this one uh, exam prep aws certified developer associate so you can get this link from the first uh, official website link from aws so once you click this one, this uh, new window will uh, open. So here you can see that this exam prep is duration is 4 hour 30 minutes. Here you will see the course uh, overview and uh, all the domains are mentioned in here and uh, a very detailed way breakdown is uh, given. That's pretty cool. So this one and the materials that it's going to cover is here also mentioned in here and uh, all the additional information everything is in here. And the best part is that this uh, whole uh, tutorial is free so you don't have to pay for it it's uh, provided by aws so uh, if you cover this one uh, it will help you to uh, get a lot of hands-on experience because uh, in this uh, course most of the things are uh, set, um, the, are hands-on so if you do it uh, if you go through it then uh, you will get those uh, experiences that are required to pass the certification so if you go through my videos first then the official website the official book for the developer associate exam and thirdly this uh, exam prep which is provided by aws so you can also call it an official uh, exam prep then uh, you are almost uh, 80 percent there so uh, sit tight and i'm gonna help you to understand how you can complete the rest of the 20 percent the fourth thing that you need to cover for this aws uh, developer associate exam is aws white papers i can't uh, uh, emphasize enough how important it is to go through this uh, one two three four five six seven white papers the first one aws well architected framework for any sort of AWS certification, whether it's for AWS Solutions Architect Associate, for CSOPs, for Solutions Architect Professional, for Developer, this is mandatory. So you really need to know AWS Well Architect Framework uh, document first. So this is uh, gonna not gonna help you for this certification for your upcoming all the AWS certification. This is a mandatory uh, white paper to go through. The second one is the practicing continuous integration and continuous delivery on AWS. So whenever we're talking about de developer certification, we have to deal with the CI/CD pipeline. We have to deal with uh, different sort of uh, DevOps tools. So if we know the good practices related to uh, uh, continuous integration and the continuous delivery, things on aws then uh, our life will be much easier so it's very important the third one is implementing microservices on aws whenever we're talking about microservices we're talking about aws lambda aws dynamodb aws s3 so it will help us to understand a lot of things so in this way if you covered this uh seven documentations in the exam you will thank yourself for sure because uh, i still remember the exam uh, some of the questions were directly from this white paper so the person who gonna go through these uh, white papers uh, they feel uh, they will feel more confident in the exam because uh, they did their preparation and now they just need to recall all of the information they already learned so my suggestion to you is to please go through this uh, uh, documentations this white paper so after going through this documentation and white papers now your exam preparation is almost 90 percent and uh, you are left with just 10 percent the fifth and last thing which is the most important that's why i just want to talk it at the very last so that is you need to uh, sign up for aws console so you have to create your own aws account it's very very important because so far whatever you have learned these are all uh, bookish knowledge right so far whatever you have seen maybe you have seen some videos you have seen some you have read some book but uh, you haven't built anything from scratch but for the exam they will test you how familiar you are with aws console so for that my recommendation for you is that uh, at the very beginning of your preparation 
open your uh, AWS uh, console. That means you have to sign up your AWS console. The good part with AWS console is that they provide you a free tier. That means you can run certain AWS services free of cost. So that's great. So just a spin of all those uh, free services, try to integrate multiple services, try to come up with a solution, try to troubleshoot uh, some problem. My suggestion is to please uh, spend at least uh, one to two hours every day for a month in AWS console. If you do that, and if you go through all the services that are mentioned in the course material, uh, I guarantee that you're gonna pass a certification. This is very critical part. So you have to go through these uh, services, you have to build solution, you have to troubleshoot it, you have to make sure that your environment is secure. And think like it's more of a, like a game. So if you change your mindset, it will be easier for you to do it. And once you uh, are well familiar with AWS console, not only gonna help you to pass a certification, even when you go for your uh, job, job hunting or interview, you can answer the questions very precisely. Also in your job role, once you get your job, you can perform all of things uh, very easily because you have uh, uh, actually deployed things. So it's not just only your bookish knowledge, you also have the hands-on experience. So please do that. Do you have a complete roadmap how to pass the AWS developer as certification so if you are uh, uh, conscious of the, the timeline how long it's gonna uh, take to prepare for certification uh, my suggestion is that uh, you should take uh, at least uh, one or one and a half month it's good enough to uh, cover all the materials that I have uh, uh, gone through today because uh, you have to spend time it's not like every day one day you're gonna, you're gonna spend a few hours the next day will uh, skip it won't help you to pass every day you have to uh, put uh, effort you have to spend at least two to three hours every day if you spend three hours every day I guarantee that you're gonna pass the certification if you cover all the uh, five things that I uh, suggest you to do uh, so uh, that's all for today's video. Uh, if you have any confusions, uh, please let me know under this comment section. I'm going to reply you back in a very short period of time. And uh, thank you so much, uh, guys, for watching my videos. It means a lot to me. Um, if you found this video helpful, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel because I'm planning to upload more and more videos related to cloud computing, related to cybersecurity. So if you really want me to cover any specific topic, let me also know under this comment section. I'm going to cover that for you. That's all for today. Have a great and wonderful day.